All right, so I'm out on another hike in the Simi Valley again today. Um, I'm kind of in the same spot, but I went off trail pretty quickly, and now I'm just up kind of in the hills, and there's some game trails I've been following, and it gets super thick and brushy in some spots, but I was just down over here, and I actually went up on top of this little hillside there, and a really cool view. I was gonna sit down and just kind of take a little break there, but it's super buggy today. There's a ton of bugs that are trying to eat me alive, and so I had to move from that spot. And then as I was getting up to leave that spot, a bee flew right at my face. And I was like, that's crazy. And I kind of swatted at it and went away for a second. And then it kept coming back at me and it like chased me down this hill. And then once I got down here, I was hanging out for another second and two more bees were trying to get me. So I don't know what's with these bees today, but I couldn't hear that they were like centralized over there. I don't think that's where their hive is. I don't know why they were being so aggressive, but these bees were literally like flying at my face. Anyway, the reason why I'm still standing up here is because I can see way out over there, kind of on that little spot, there's something red that looks like it's stuck in a bush. And it's so far that I can't tell what it is from over here, um, but I really want to figure it out. So I was trying to see if there was a way to get down through this valley and get over to it. And I don't think there really is. It doesn't look like a good place to climb down. So I'm thinking my best bet is to hike up along this ridge line a little bit and uh, see if I can't come up over the top of it and then shoot down on the same ridge line that it's resting on. Uh, but I'm gonna have to be way off trail to make it work. And I don't know whether I'm gonna be able to get there or if I can get over there and then find it again from that side without being able to see from over here. Anywho, I'm gonna give it a shot. Wish me luck. So I'm climbing around this here rock section. And I just came up on a nice big snake. I don't know if you can see his head there. His head is right there. And the end of his tail is all the way over here. Oh, he's coiling up. Apparently, he lives underground. All right, so I'm making my way along the trail. I see another cool rock formation, so of course I start exploring it. I just came around this bend over here, and as I did, there was a big snake. Chased it down into its hole. I think it was a gopher snake, uh, but it's probably like a good three or four feet. It's a good sized snake. Um, the one I saw yesterday was a baby compared to this guy. Um, and now it is underground, so I'm worried it's gonna pop up somewhere next to me. But um, as I came further around, I found this. That's a good size cave. All right, so as I'm checking out this cave, I'm realizing something a little bit unsettling about it. Uh, I can see some bones in here. <laughs> There's a, let me see if I can show you. That's a little jawbone, part of a skull. And it looks like deeper in there, there are some bigger ones. So I'm gonna prop up the camera in a way that I don't have to hold it. Of course, I forgot my tripod today, but I'm gonna go see what is in the back of this now creepy cave. All right. Oh man, I think it might be birds. That is a bunch of a wasp nest. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay. So, upon further exploration, that is a ton of honeycomb. And it's going back into that little cavern there. I don't know if you can see that. Holy crap. This is terrifying. I'm getting out of here. So I got the heck away from that cave because that was absolutely terrifying with that wasp or bees or hornets or whatever it was, nest that was in there. Um, I assume it's bees because there was honeycomb. Anywho, 
I'm on the other side of the rock formation now. There's some cool little pockets in this section, but I think that's about it for caves on here. Um, I'll go up just a little ways just to make sure I didn't miss one on this guy. I stood up on top of this rock a minute or two ago. There's an opening. This is crazy. Let's see. Got a nice little small spot there. Doesn't look like it goes all that deep. Wow. Well, I am sick of being in this tall grass for the moment after seeing that snake and some bones and a giant bee's nest, hive, whatever you want to call it. So I think I'm going to go back up to the trail and keep on moving. This, uh, this spot is full of gems. That is probably the biggest coyote poop I have ever seen. At least I hope it's coyote. <laughs> There's a lot of hair in it. So whatever it was, it is a carnivore. All right, so I spent a pretty good amount of time off trail today. In fact, I probably did more hiking off trail than I did on trail. Um, I was going to get over to that red thing, but I went down the wrong spine and uh, it just, it didn't happen. So I ended up in the wrong spot. Would have had to climb way all the way back up over and around uh, just to come back down again and then hike back up. And so I, uh, I decided against that today, but I'm young. There's still time. So I'm hiking down now, enjoying my mate on the trail. And uh, yeah, I'm going to call it a day after that. I uh, found plenty of cool stuff. I was able to explore some caves, climb up on some cool rocks, get chased by some bees, all kinds of fun stuff. So it's been a full hike. I've enjoyed it. And uh, I'll check in with you on the next one. Thanks for joining me.